going on everybody? Dangerous Thing here. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm bringing you a very special Operation Task Force that is currently actually in progress so it may or may not finish by the time I'm done recording this video. I could not be happier with my task force group. I've selected really awesome individuals and I signed them to be officers so they actually have now led three operations while I have been totally offline. They have been working on the strategy, you know, sharing the notes and coaching other players that are a little bit lower level than they are. And it's just been really happy, collaborative environment, you know, and that's how I want it to be. I don't want you guys to, you know, come home after work and school and your girlfriend yelling at you and being stressed out in your task force. No way, man. It has to be, you know, just so much fun. And if it's not, then you better come in and tell us as it is. And so for all of you who are not currently in task force, I know you've been asking me to open it up to 50 people, but I'm a little bit reluctant uh, for a few reasons. You know, I want to get to know everybody I currently have in my task force. I have 24 awesome human beings and I want to get to know them so well since they've been there since the very beginning for me, you know, supported me so, so much. So until I feel like I know everybody, like all of them, and I'm not talking about, you know, the date, date of birth, you know, and what they like to eat for dinner, but I'm saying, you know, on the best and possible closest level that I can know my task force people. And then maybe I'll open up to 50 people. So please don't give me any hate comments on that. That's just my decision for now. But, you know, in the future, hopefully I'll have more of you, you know, and, um, you know, most of my uh, TF officers and members are pretty active. So I heard a few of you say, maybe you can kick someone off because they're not active, but I can't complain. I have an awesome TF. Everybody is really, really, really active. So without further ado, let's jump into my task force and I'll show you what has been happening. So basically this is Operation Powder Cat. By now, I think we've done, um, Sour grape several times with a mambo and power keg. And so this is now getting more and more difficult. It basically takes more and more intel to start the operation. And, you know, it takes more strategy and deeper diving into analyzing the base, um, you know, to solve it. So um, there has been a whole lot of attacks. I'm going to go through a few of the highlights. And if you were not shown in this video, don't think that it's because your attack was worthless. Every single sacrifice of, of your force, of your money was definitely worth because at the end of the day, as a team, we're going to finish this operation. So let's jump in and look at Admiral Lupo, who attacked Wallop at first. He went in all tanks. And let's see what his strategy is. So he's deploying his tanks. He's basically uh, uh, throwing the smoke right away so that he can divert them all the way to the left-hand side, where it's away from the cannons, because we all know cannons are deadly when it comes to tanks. And he, he does a really, really good job avoiding, you know, the damage from the cannons. Now he's getting a little bit of uh, rock. Rocket launchers. I always struggle with saying that. Rock launch, rocket launchers and shock launchers. I, for some reason, there's a conventional block in my head. So he does a really good job. He gets, uh, you know, super close to them. And his mission here is to take down those rocket launchers because he is going to do it in such a way that it's going to clear the path for the next person. So he is doing it really, really well. And now he's going all the way on the left. What he's going to do is he's going to take down some of the small core buildings. So what it's going to do is. Uh, weaken up the core so that the next person that comes after him will definitely have a much easier task in hand. And, um, you know, he groups right over here, right by the core, and basically just goes down. You know, uh, he throws his critters, and unfortunately, he runs out of time. This was a really great strategy. It tanks a little bit slower, so even though all of these things were, you know, fully, um, you know, the health bar was there, because tanks are so slow, it took him a little bit more time, and so he did what he had to do. So thank you, thank you very much. So let's look at the next attack. And next we had uh, Jan Mikesko, who actually his name is Nikita. He is my comrade, also from Mother Russia. So sometimes I will talk Russian to him in the task force, and other people are like, what's going on? We don't speak Russian, we don't speak Russian, which basically means we don't speak Russian, we don't speak speaking Russian, but hey, sometimes we throw it in, what do you know? All right, let's look at what Nikita did. He went in all Zookas, and um, I think he's like within probably combinations of various um, various uh, troops. And so he's going in all Zookas, trying to take down all of the uh, boom, uh, cannons on the left hand side, which he's done a really fantastic job. He took down the clutter or cluster of three cannons, four cannons actually, and he is trying to take down the mortar. But I don't think that's going to happen for him. But fantastic job! Now the left flank is totally open for the next person to come in. So. Let's look at what's going to happen next. Now that um, that's basically cleaned up, we have General Hussein, who is also an officer in my task force. I am so happy to have him. Uh, if he ever left my task force, I probably would cry for days. 
so please don't ever leave my task force just you know just let's not do this let's not break up like that so um he goes down on the uh, on the floor and because you've seen you know other players clear up that path he goes in really really nicely and takes down the core just like that what do you know okay so that was wallop um Elma said wallop up which is the name of an app that i was using not long ago <laughs> so that was done and then we go into nino looking at the quantum and actually i think i i, I said that i was going to show all the highlights but i may just actually show the whole thing so Nino is going, or Nino, I don't know how you pronounce it properly, if I don't say it right, just comment below and let me know. Um, he goes all tanks as well, and he is going on uh, many cores at first to weaken up the power core, and then he is taking his tanks all around so they avoid uh, boom cannons, because like I said, cannons, boom cannons, just deadly, deadly weapons. And, um, you know, this is now going four times the speed, he's kind of going a little bit slower, but what he's going to do now is uh, direct the can um, the uh, tanks away from the cannons and um, he's going to keep going, smoke, and now uh, rocket launchers are going at him pretty hard. He's got one boat of medics, so they're going to try to keep the tanks alive for as long as possible and down they go. So that was a very, very short attack. Unfortunately, you know, when you play in this high level of the damage that rocket launchers are giving, uh, you know, it's just really, really powerful. So then we had another lovely player, Fessy. Um, he also said that I'm pronouncing his name right, but I'm just going to go with Luke. How about that? Uh, he went in all warriors, and he's doing something that I'm actually pretty terrible at. Oh no, there is a trash truck outside. It's going to get really loud now. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to be quiet for a second. Okay, so Luke went all warriors, and he was able to take down a few defense buildings, but uh, warriors are, you know, super, super, super super vulnerable to the damage, especially when the rock launchers go at them, but he took down a few and it's going to be a huge help. And so, un tal coso, I pronounce things, man. Um, I guess English is second language and all kinds of other things, hard, just going up here, pronunciation, if I mispronounce you, please forgive me. So, this was actually a pretty short attack, also going in, all glorious. I feel like um, that's how Nick and mine goes, that glorious. <laughs> and that was a pretty short one too. So let's jump into the next one. And then we got Red 8. Wait. Um, he goes down on the as well, tries to reduce some of the mines around the core, and he throws in the garage. He goes in Nukas and Heavy. So he puts in Heavy right up front, as he should, because they are going to be total gems and take up all, uh, soak up all the damage and he gets wiped out pretty fast by rocket launchers. Um, after ready, we got the one and only. The one and only is um, also a really strong top player on our team. Uh, he's been in the team from the very beginning and um, you know, highly appreciate being part of the team. Love you, man. Um, so he goes in, Zooks and Tavis, and this unfortunately was kind of a short one for him. So let's jump in into the next one. And we got after one and only, we got G Boy 22. G Boy, as you once uh, may remember, uh, was crowned as my soulmate. Um, he still remains in the ranks, <laughs> although now there may be a few contenders. So he is going in with Scorchers and Tanks. Don't you love that combination? I cannot wait until I'm going to have Scorchers, but it's going to be a long way away. So he's going in all Scorchers, all Tanks, uh, half Scorchers, half Tanks. What am I talking about? And Scorchers are just, you know, so powerful. You know, a lot of health, a whole lot of health, and tanks right behind and backing them up definitely is a deadly combination. Even quantum base probably is not a good match for it. And look at him just going so skillfully through the base. He's doing a fantastic job taking away, just you know, plugging at it. One minute, six seconds left, and he's now by the four. He's got his scorchers lined up, he's got the tanks lined up, and they're going right at the power core. At this point, the only thing that's still hitting them off are rocket launchers, but that's not going to be a problem because they have a ton of health down in those stadiums. This was just purely beautiful. All right, so that was a beautiful job, and now let's go in and see what Big Tough did. Big Tough is going in. He's being really, really adventurous. He's going in the whole uh, rifleman. So let's see what his strategy here is. So we remember how previous players basically cleared up that space. He shocks the boom cannon and the cannon, and he decides to just go straight down at the core, and his riflemen are 
inspiring a way. Look at those dudes. They are just hardcore. And unfortunately, at this point, the cannon is right there. And it's just going to take them out one after another. Because each shot, off with the head. Down, down, down. So he's going pretty strong for going in all riflemen and having that, you know, cannon there with a whole lot of health. This was a really, really beautiful attack. Job well done. Okay. We got a few more to go. Let's look at... Death Warrior 6, uh, he actually, Death Warrior 6 Destroyer, he's a brand new member of my task force. I have not gotten to know him just yet. I cannot wait to meet you when you're online in task force. Say hello and uh, talk about your beautiful leech skills. So let's see what he does here. He is going in and he is going to finish up Mercury. He's going in Scorchers, uh, Zookas, and Heavy. So uh, quite a combination there. Scorchers are super powerful, Heavy to take them in. A lot of a lot of uh, heat, you know, when all the splash damage goes down on them, and also scorchers have a lot of health. So he comes in and just like that down goes the core. Basically, easy breezy, beautiful death warrior destroyer got it down in like 30 seconds. And after him, we had epic phoenix, who I just call epic because he pretty much is. Epic also has been part of my TF since the very beginning. So thanks, man. I really appreciate your support. Really appreciate you being part of this and. He basically went in uh, all, uh, I can't speak again, all riflemen, and he's going to take down a few buildings right over here, and unfortunately, because the base is still intact, the Black River is uh, one of the uh, more difficult ones during this attack. He diverts his troops towards power core, so he can, uh, he can gain a bit more XP and uh, hopefully you know, uh, have another shopper to throw at some of the cannons, and just like that, he gets down there to the big cannon. He gets hit down, 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 and unfortunately, pretty soon, his troops are going to be in range of rocket launchers, and um, he may actually just run out of time here because he's working on a little power course, power course, and uh, he's just plugging away at them, but with only 20 seconds left, he's going to run out of time. So uh, that was a really beautiful attempt, and the base is still available. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you very much for everyone who participated in this task force, who participated in this attack. Thank you guys for watching, and next time we check in, I may bring you another episode of Dangerous Things versus Gearheart. Um, until next time, Dangerous Things out.